this video we will be looking at how to evaluate a ground glass density nodule. This is commonly encountered in radiology practice and as you can see on this CT image there are two such nodules highlighted. The first thing to evaluate is whether they are truly ground glass density nodules or whether they are represented by on fast atelectasis. On fast atelectasis means that the region of atelectasis is facing towards you and it may actually be flat on another plane. So in order to determine whether they are true ground glass density nodules and whether they have a volume instead of a flat appearance, we have to change the plane and we are going to change the coronal plane in this case. And we can see at a matching position that these do represent um, distinct nodules rather than on fast areas of atelectasis. The definition of ground glass means that the lung markings can be seen through this increased density area. Uh, the next step is to evaluate whether there is a solid component or not. The etiology of ground glass changes can be variable, ranging from a large number of pathologies and as well as transient and non-transient entities. The problem with having these on a routine CT scan is that some of these can also represent neoplastic or pre-neoplastic conditions, especially in the spectrum of certain adenocarcinomas. Due to that, various authorities have suggested several follow-up guidelines and at the time of publication of the video, the common used is the Fleischner guideline with references paste below. That implies that if you see this for the first time, you have to look at whether there are any recent CT images and if there are none, it would warrant a follow-up protocol which ideally includes an initial scan at around three to six months, depending on the size, and ideally a nodule of greater than six millimeters would initially require an initial scan at six months to three months, and if it's persisting, then it would go on a more prolonged follow-up protocol. You can also refer to the references below for additional information.